When I was 16, I was in hospital for a year and a half after having 20 or so stomach surgeries. And it was when I was in the bed that I actually learned what made a good doctor, but also what made bad doctors. And it kind of made me want to sort of be on the other side of the pillow, if you like, and to help other patients. I've had a lot of discrimination, um, admittedly, and it's been before medicine, uh, it's been during medicine, and to be honest, I think it'll be an element of it for the rest of my career. And unfortunately, it's just down to maybe the ignorance of people, the misunderstanding of my disabilities. I'm Alexandra, I'm a third year medical student from Cardiff. Um, I'm here because I'm the creator of Faces of the NHS, um, which is a, an independent project, an idea that I came up with um, a year ago, um, which I wanted to use to celebrate diversity amongst uh, employees in the NHS. As a disabled medical student, I've had a lot of people come up to me before and say, you don't look like a medical student, you know, you've got a cane or you've got hearing aids. And then I thought, well, you know, is there really a, a sort of a particular image that you have to look like um, in order to be a nurse, a doctor, a porter, etc. Um, and that's why I wanted to do Faces of the NHS to, to show that we're all different and we should celebrate that. I've been doing photography for as, as long as I can remember really. I guess since I got my first phone that was able to take photographs, I just feel like there's so much more meaning in a photograph. Hence why I thought by doing Faces of the NHS as a portraiture photograph project, I can capture the emotions, the stories um, behind the NHS employees that I'm taking photographs of. The idea started last year, um, so I began doing it as sort of a, just a very small student project, like a pilot study. And then really the BMA JMF conference is actually the first big one that I'm doing. And then going back to Cardiff now, I've been in touch with the media and comms teams. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be going to the different hospital trusts um, and taking photos there. And then once that's done, I'm going to move further afield, so sort of further around Wales. And then hopefully in a few months or years, I'll make my way around the rest of the UK. So, um, so it's very exciting. The people who have approached me so far have said it's a really interesting project, it's quite refreshing. Um, I think especially now in the current climate of you know, negative politics and media um, you know, covering the NHS and I do have a lot of other sort of colleagues that you know either have a disability or from like a range of backgrounds that they're discriminated um, because of. I remember in my first week of placement actually I was sat down by a senior doctor and basically just said imagine if you're a patient would you want a blind doctor treating you? Absolutely not. And then I was sent home um, and that, that was quite upsetting and I do stick up for myself but then it's, it's you know, not changing the opinion and view of one person, it, it's trying to change the perspective of society. Actually I went to the US two summers ago um, on a venture to sort of try and find blind and deaf doctors and see how they practiced out there and I met so many really, really inspiring, completely blind, completely deaf doctors, you know, they're surgeons, they're anaesthetists, all sorts and, and they're really highly respected by the patients purely because actually they might not have you know much eyesight but they have more insight um, and that's what patients want they want their doctors to listen to them um, and to at least know what they're doing um, so yeah I just need I need people here in the NHS to understand that and, and believe even for people who are able-bodied um, or come from a typical school leaving, uh, medical school, uh, nursing school background, they don't always have all the strengths. Everyone has a weakness um, and I think it's part of working as a team to create the diversity that's needed. With the UK being a very uh, multicultural, diverse population as it is, we would be doing a disservice by not being a, a diverse NHS. It's nice for patients, you know, even from my perspective when I've come across a doctor or a nurse that kind of understands me at a personal level, it's nice, it's reassuring. So to have healthcare staff from all different backgrounds, for all different backgrounds of the general public, is needed. Ultimately, after I've set myself more in stone with face of the NHS, over the next few years, I'd love to be able to um, create a massive montage where I have all the portraitures of people that have got involved uh, into one big art piece and um, also a book as well. I just hope that Faces of the NHS could really change the views. Um, it just spreads a message to say, you know, let's celebrate this diversity.